And good evening, everybody, and we welcome you here to the Brevard Sports Network for Class 4A District 12 Championship Action. Caleb Brown here, along with my broadcast partner again tonight, the Ole Miss commit, former Coco Tiger. You know him. You love him. M Mr. Davin Widener. Caleb, pleasure to be here again. <laughs> pleasure to be here. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Champion championship baseball here. On, on the mound. <laughs> on the mound here for uh, Jensen Beach here is going to be number 13. Uh, near. He comes in tonight with an ERA of. Find him. Let me find him here. Comes in with a 145 VRA. 750 winning percentage, six and two on the season. And uh, he's gonna be facing a, an interesting lineup tonight. I wanna say this is their, this is their ace tonight. I wanna say he sits somewhere between 84 to 86. Uh, no idea uh, of his, his, you know, his, his future in baseball, but I'm sure he's definitely found a home. Um, this should be a, a really good game tonight, honestly. Uh, the Merritt Island Mustangs obviously used their ace uh, against Satellite the other day and Kita Atui, who, uh, who had 14 Ks yeah. in five innings uh, in the district semi. So we'll see if the Merritt Island rotation can kind of pick it up where they left off there on Tuesday. To, uh, uh, tonight on the mound for the Mustangs will be uh, Grant Pap Paparella. Leading off for the Mustangs here, Grant uh, uh, Rylan Diaz. Grant hitting 362 on the year. Um, if you were here on Tuesday, you know he has great speed on the bases. 11 for 12 in stolen bases this year with a 462 on base percentage. Uh, Three-year starter for the Mustangs. And we are underway, first pitch. First pitch, breaking ball, strike one. We'd like to, like to thank our sponsors tonight again. Merritt Island Baseball Boosters for paying for the tournament. Chopper over to third. And late call by umpire Mr. Holbeck. I want to say that was a breaking ball again. Uh, kind of like what we saw, what Merritt Island saw uh, Tuesday. A pitcher really, really comfortable with his, with his off-speed pitch, which is what you'd expect. Uh, I'm assuming this is Jensen Beast's ace, so uh, this should be interesting. That one just outside for ball one. I might have been wrong about, you know, 84 to 80s. He might be sitting, <laughs> might be sitting mid to high 80s here tonight. That one, Chopper foul. Count remains one and two. First inning of action here. The count one and two. I'm assuming a fastball here. Three off speeds this at bat. And there it is. And that's gonna drop for a lead off single. Ryland Diaz, really good lead off at bat here for the Mustangs. And you know what, that, that's the way you begin a championship game. Look, to get on base, you, you have a great batting order behind you. Let's, you know, play small ball when you can. Definitely, and like we said, good speed on first now. Um, you know, as a pitcher of, of this pitcher's caliber, you know, you don't want to leave a fastball belt high, but I'm sure he'll learn from his mistakes there and see if he can bounce back here with, with Tyler Murley, another three-year starter for the Mustangs, hitting 302, showing bunt. Seemed to be a slash, but that's a uh, an off-speed pitch high for ball one. You know, that's one thing I will say I, I, I still love about the high school baseball game is small ball is still a thing. It's not everyone trying to jack it over the fence every at bat. I agree. I already have our first uh, fam family feud reference out here. Mully, another guy with good speed. Fastball late. 
for strike one here. Count is one and one. In warm-ups, we saw the, the throw over from the catcher. Seemed like he had a real live arm. Uh, I doubt we see any type of stolen base here for the Mustangs. Showing bunt. High for ball two. And that's another thing with, with small ball, Caleb, in, in high school. It often actually disrupts the pitcher. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everyone has their bunt defense, but it just seems to me in high school, every time a pitcher sees bunt, they become a little erratic, see if the, the, the bunt itself can bounce somewhere uh, in the defense's favor. Pulled back the bunt there again. Count is 3-1. Good hitters count here. You're assuming fastball, but uh, he, he looks comfortable with his off speed, so I wouldn't be entirely surprised with a, with a curveball here. Checking over Diaz over at first. Comes to the plate. And that is ball four. Good start here for the Mustangs. This is definitely what you want to do against a pitcher uh, of this guy's caliber here off early. Um, you know, good position here for the Mustangs. Dean and Hanselman up to bat. Um, going through a little bit of a rough patch right now, but still the Merritt Island Mustangs leading hitter hitting 382. First year varsity guy. A sophomore really come along this season for the Mustangs as a three-hole hitter. Um, you know, 19 runs, 20 RBIs, nine walks. What you want to see out of a good high school three hitter. Good bunt Beautiful there. Beautiful job. Uh, didn't seem like he expected it to be yeah. in play, but <laughs> um, you know we can serve it as a sack bunt there. Um, Good spot here for the Mustangs, I'd say, early in this game. Uh, second and third, one out. And like we said on Tuesday, what you want to do here, uh, seems like the infield will most likely, at least the middle, will be playing back here, probably corners in. You know, you, you just want to get one run here. Um, in a district final, uh, you know, every run counts. So hitting a hard ground ball in the middle of the field or lifting a ball to the outfield is huge. Curveball here, falls in for strike one. Pepperell just has to hunt the fastball here, be on time, and hopefully just put a ball to the middle of the field here. You know, Curveball again. Caleb, he looks really, really comfortable. Um, you know, it's it's definitely not a guarantee here for the Mustangs to score a run. No. Um, you know, O2 quickly. You know, he gets a strikeout here. That would be really, really big here for Jensen Beach. Pa if you're Paparella, this is a time here where you can give yourself an early advantage heading in to your first inning of work if you can help yourself here. Yeah, like we were talking about uh, with Satellite's pitcher the other night. He helped himself with a base hit early. But this is this is definitely a huge situation here for the Mustangs and, and probably even bigger here for Jensen Beach. Checks over a third, kicks. And delivers that one in the dirt for ball two. You know, I, I like that pitch. You know, you're still ahead in the count, one, two there. You, you throw a good curveball in the dirt. Um, you know, 50% of high school batters are swinging at that. See what he does here. I'm assuming he's going to come up with the probably a fastball. Out. And the count is three and two. This is a really good Ooh. at bat here by Paparella. Falling down 0-2 quickly. Uh, you know, the, the full count pitch here, probably one of your bigger ones of the night, even though we are only about five minutes into action here. The full count. Good fight there on the off speed. That, that should really show you how comfortable this pitcher is with his off speed here to, to be able to throw a 3-2 curve ball. Good location, low in the zone. Really good job by Paparella fighting that off. Pitcher versus pitcher duel, three count, one out. Runners on second and third. Kicks, delivers. And the curveball falls in. That is that, that, big that, pitch. That, that's a nasty curve is what that was. Yes, it is. Paparella probably didn't expect the curveball there. Uh, it threw a lot to him that at bat. He seems to me like he's almost on more off speeds than fastballs so far in the competition today. It, 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 you know, he seems very uh, uh, 
cur curveball heavy and then tries to mix in the fastball, which mm -hmm. is usually very different from a lot of pitchers where you try to rely on the fastball and then mix in that off speed. I agree. Um, you know, nothing velocity-wise that the Mustangs haven't seen this year, so the curveball is definitely a really, really good, you know, offsetting pitch here for the Mustangs. But uh, up to bat, Brady Denneberg, uh, senior captain here for the Mustangs, hitting 339. Uh, like we said, he came back in his first game on Tuesday, had, I believe, four RBIs, three RBIs in that matchup. Um, like we said, a Division I full scholarship to Syracuse for kicking. Uh, one triple on the year. Uh, like we said, 15 runs, 18 RBIs, and four doubles for Dunneberg. See if he can come up really, really big here for the Mustangs. Fastball out. Might have been out, might have been a little out out, but you know, still hitters count here for Brady. Two one. Oh, and, and and if you're Coach Widener, you love the fact that you have Brady come back and, and he's on fire. Those bats are going. Brady, the swing and miss there. Really, really big pitch here for both squads. Um, two, two, two here. Runners on second and third. Brady needs the base hit here. And the big curveball for strike three. And uh, great job there by Mr. Near getting, getting out of the inning without allowing any runs. He allows no runs on two hits and two left on. We head to the bottom of the first with your score, nil-nil. Heading into the bottom of the first. We head to the bottom of the first inning here. Cade Cruz leading it off for the Jensen Beach Falcons tonight. Cruz comes in tonight with a 241 average with 101 plate appearances, 14 RBIs. That pitch in there for strike one. Grant Paparella at, on the mound tonight for the Mustangs. Grant, uh, usually, actually a reliever this year. Uh, hasn't started many games this year, but a, a really good reliever here for the Mustangs. Uh, come in and shut, a, shut the door on a lot of games. Uh, usually follows Kide Atatouli in his starts. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see here tonight if... Uh, and there is the curveball. See, that's, that's kind of Grant's slogan. Uh, you know, when he has that curveball on, he, he's you know, just as effective as Kida, you know, that, that big, big sweeping curve. So he's ahead here, see what he does. That one.
one popped up into right field. Coming in to make the catch. Brady Denneberg there in right. Uh, you know, good pitch there, Grant. Uh, left, left the fastball a little up, but you know, he's late. Uh, leadoff hitter's a little late there on the fastball. Causes a, a quick out number one for the Mustangs. Next up to bat is number 11, Patrick Ward. Ward comes in tonight batting 434 with 30 RBIs. Ward is a senior. I believe he is the shortstop for Jensen Beach tonight. Good frame on him. Fastball falls in for strike one. Count up one and one. Paparella and Andrew Collin. Andrew College commit uh, for baseball. That one Check swing and a quick two outs here for the Mustangs. Good curveball there. Seemed to me like he did not want to swing that, but you know, you can't complain if you're the Mustangs, but you kind of want that one back if you are Mr. Ward. Gillen comes in tonight. Patrick Gillen. Comes in tonight batting 405 with 23 RBIs. And there is a shot. That's <laughs> gonna fall over the head of Diaz. One hopper to the fence. Hidden for two. I think he's gonna hold up there. Great swing. Great swing there by Gillen. Really drove that ball, fastball, middle of the way. Took it where exactly where it needed to be. Good shot here for the, for Jensen Beach, clean up hitter to you know do his job here and drive him drive home this run. Chris Chris Kinnear comes in tonight, the starting pitcher for the Falcons, batting 3.29. Twenty-six hits on the year. I believe this is the the pitcher tonight. Yes. Uh, that's that's really rare to see. You know, a pitcher that can swing it. This is this that's that's a really good thing for him. Pitcher hitting cleanup. Hopefully, he can help himself by you know a large faction here. Big swing by him for strike two. O2 count here early. Swing like it had some power in it. Um, per usual here at Clean Hurdle Field, wind is blowing out tonight. You never know what can happen. And the curveball called strike three. Great first inning for Paparella, letting up one hit, a big hit at that big big double there. But, you know, still 0-0 zero, zero here after one. Seems to me like, you, you know, both of these teams are really going to have to claw and fight their way to get runs across the board here. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to call it right now. I, I think we're going to have maybe a, a two to one, may, maybe three two type type of game. And uh, when we come back, we'll have the second inning of action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Actually, we'd like to take this moment to uh, thank our friends over at the Florida High School Athletic Association and remind you that the rights to the 4A District 12 championship game have been granted to the Brevard Sports Network by the Florida High School Athletic Association. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any accounts or descriptions of this game without the approved written consent of the Brevard Sports Network is strictly prohibited.
All right, we are back here. Top of the second inning. Leading the inning off for the Mustangs, Shane Street. First pitch to Street. He thought about it, held up for ball one. Shane Street, another senior captain here for the Mustangs, hitting 254. Big night the other night with a big two RBI double. Uh, he's going to go to Florida Atlantic University. Another guy, 11 runs, 12 RBIs for Mustangs. That one foul, fouled off the plate. Count is one and two. Seemed a little late there on the fastball. That's, I mean, but that's what it, that's what you get when you get a, a guy who's throwing a really, really good curveball. You know, you kind of get that that guess approach at the plate, which you don't want, but you never know. And that's a coach. Uh, Co coach Widener get, giving his team a little uh, little talk. That's that's another big emphasis uh, for Coach Widener, uh, not to interrupt next at bat, but you know you have to hunt the fastball, especially when you have a kid throwing upper 80s with a good curveball, you really have to find that curveball. And a lot of times these hitters try and find it out of the hand and you kind of just have to jump on it. Curveball low for ball one. This is Nick Wimberly. You know, sophomore here for the Mustangs. Two year starter. Um, the number two arm here for the Mustangs. Pitch fires. Late again on the fastball. And that's what it seems here tonight. The Mustangs have seen a lot of good pitching this year, but they really have to get on this guy and realize when the fastball and the curveball are going to come. Uh, it's going to be a chopper to the shortstop. Over to first. Four out, number two. Really good play, by, really good play there by the shortstop. Wimberly, not the quickest kid on the team tonight, but you know, still really, really good play there by the shortstop. Play, great, great, great play there made by uh, Patrick Ward. And up to bat tonight is Kita Atatui, uh, who we just talked about. Had 14 Ks in five innings on Tuesday. See what he can do tonight at, tonight at the plate. He's also playing first. See if he can help his team in, in other ways tonight. Foul tip right into the catcher's mitt for strike number two. Pitcher seems to be really, really comfortable here in the second inning, finding his groove, hitting spots. There's the fastball away for ball number one. Good spot, could have went both ways there. One, one, two count, two outs. That one's gonna be chopped foul. This is something you've seen from the, the Merritt Island batters tonight, everyone, uh, other than Diaz and Mully, everyone just seems to be just taking guesses and it almost seems like there's a slight hesitation to swing the bat. Yeah, and, and you really can't do that with a guy on the mound right now. I mean, he's throwing upper 80s with a really good snapping curveball, so you really have to go up there with a plan. And there is the curveball. You could have guessed it. Curveball there. Two clean innings. Here for the Jensen Beach pitcher, looking really, really good tonight. All right, we head to the bottom of the second inning with your score, or check that, uh, top of the third. Uh, bottom of the second, bottom of the second. That oh, Jensen Beach is so the home team. Tonight. Ah, okay, yes. see, see. Throws you off, right? <laughs> Got me too. <laughs> it threw me, all right, so we head to the bottom of the second inning with your score. Nothing, nothing here on the Brevard Sports Network.
All right, we head to the bottom of the second. Ty Bellardo for the Falcons. Don't, don't see his name here on the uh, stat sheet. Uh, there we go, Villardo comes in batting 243, and that is uh, sky high into left field. Into the glove for out number one. You know, some some people will, will say, he, uh, you know, an out's an out, but you, you'd hope to see a little more, you know, comfortability out there on that fly ball. Yeah. But, you know, one out is one out, and it's a quick one out here for Grant Paparell and the Mustangs. Next one. Darren Becker comes in tonight batting 333. 23 hits, and that one's going to be a chopper to, sh to short over to first. And he dives across and finds himself safe. That's, you know, that's really interesting. Uh, you don't see that much no. anymore. You, you're really taught, unless they are taught differently. Uh, you know, if you run through the bag, you are much, much faster. But, you know... Like we said, with the outs and out, safe is also safe. <laughs> yeah. So a runner on here for Jensen Beach. Now I'll say uh, that shin of his might, might, might hurt in the morning. He kind of went a little face first in the dirt. And they're now at the bat number four, Mr. Garner. First runner on tonight here for Jensen Beach. See if Paparella can respond well. And a swing there and a base hit. Good swing there on the fastball. Puts a runner in scoring position here up for the catcher. Only one out here in the bottom of the second. Hopefully Jensen Beach can make something happen here. Cons comes in tonight batting 268 with 11 RBIs. And two homers. I want to say he hit a home run in the district semi here the other night. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, I did hear that the catcher did hit a home run. So you got to watch out for that. But uh, double play ball still much in play here. But at the same time, a runner threatening here in scoring position. A single could score him. You know, again, just like Tuesday night, that wind is blowing out, so so if he gets a hold of one and sends it out to left field. Uh, Could be a quick, quick change here in the game. Paparella still up 0-2 here. Big out here for the Mustangs if they can get it. And a swing and a miss. That is. And, an, and he throws him out at second. Are you kidding me? What a play there for the Mustangs and Tyler Mully. In a game like this, Caleb, wow. you have to make plays <laughs> like that to win the game. And, and that that right there is a huge, and, huge momentum change here. And, 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 and that's just called awareness. That's just called the catcher, no, knowing what catcher and, and, and second baseman. On, just on that same wavelength, immediately once he picks that ball up, throws it over, gets the tag out. Great double play, way to end the inning for the Mustangs. We head to the top of three with your score. No score here, live from Clint Hurdle Field on the campus of Merritt Island High School.
All right, we are here. The bottom bottom of the second, or top of the se top of the third. Scoreboard having me thrown off. Kinnear, first pitch, outside, low for ball one. And what you want to do here if you're Kinnear, you know, you have the nine hole here, really important out. Don't Definitely don't want to walk him, but Torrance had a hot bat as of late. Torrin, a sophomore, first year varsity player, hitting 263. Um, you know, great, great, great addition here as we got called up from JV. Takes ball three. Really wow. good count here for Torrin and the Mustangs. Definitely have a runner on here. See if they'll play a little small ball, but you know, this is this is a really, really big pitch here for both teams. Fastball falls in, count three and one. Kinnear deals. 3-2 count now. Let him fall back in here like we said the other night. Maradon really big on not taking fastballs. Probably one he wants back here. And late foul tip. Um, just as we were saying the other night with Kide, this, that, that's... I, I don't know how many, but I want to say two. it's two strikeouts. Two. That's it. Actually, three. You're right. I want to say it's up there. He struck out. Let's see. On, Let's on. see if so we can count. Two. He struck out both the bat batters to end the inning and struck out, I believe, maybe two last the, innings the, as well. The, 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 the call struck out a street. That might have been his, his fifth. Might have been his fifth, Caleb. Fourth. Two, street, one more. So, Could be right. four. High fastball. <laughs> Counts 2-0 and here for the leadoff batter in the Merritt Island lineup. Missed a couple games with a broken cheekbone and has bounced back better than ever. Good swing there on the 2-0 fastball. That's what you want to see out of these kids, attacking fastballs. See if Ryland can repeat what he did in the first at bat. Singled the left field. Still a hitter's count here. See if he can get something going for the Mustangs. Curveball low in the dirt, just like a leadoff should do. Have a good eye. 3-1 count here. See if uh, see if the pitcher can back, bounce back and, and get this in his favor. Ah, and sky to foul, you know, foul ball there to center. An F8 there for Ryland Diaz. Not a terrible swing, but you, you want to stay out of the air. If you're if you're coached by Coach Wider, that's that's one of his biggest emphasis. Keep the ball out of the air. Make make their players make plays. Um, not a bad three-one swing. Probably went about 300 feet, but and still an F8. Two outs here for Jensen Beach. See if they can close the door here yet again and go scoreless. It 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 it, it should be. In there for strike two. Two quick strikes here on Mully. Pitcher looking really, really comfortable here in the second and third innings. Getting quick outs, strikeouts. Curveball, good take there by Mully. Good waste pitch there. Count is still only one and two very much in the pitcher's favor here. That one high. Count is one. Count is two, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Everybody, you know the lyrics of home. Deuces are wild. Really good reaction time there by the pitcher. Kinnear. Could have been a single up the middle. Saved the swing there. Really good swing there by Mully with two strikes. Just a better play by the pitcher. Uh, you know he's looking really clean here through three. All right, we head to the bottom of three. Er, uh, we 
We head to the next inning with, with your score. Nothing, nothing here from Clint Hurdlefield. All right, uh, new new arm on the mound for the Mustangs coming in Shane Street. Uh, don't, don't, don't have the uh, the stats on Street just yet. We have a couple score updates here uh, in a big shocker in St. Cloud. Vieira up three nothing over Melbourne in in the top of the fifth. Chopper over to third. That one sails. And so we'll score that a, a single and advanced on. Yeah, you, you could you could put that either way. A really good play by Wimberley there to keep it in. Um, don't really know. Uh, obviously a high throw, but. Keita Atui is a really good athlete. I, I'd expect him to, you know, go up and, and at least knock that pitch down, but or that throw down. But you know, good play by Wimberley. Um, but runner on second here for the top of the lineup for Jensen Beach. Um, Shane Street, uh, like we were saying earlier, uh, came on late in the year as a pitcher. Um, has done really, really good job here for the Mustangs. Um, a good arm here. Street over there checking on uh, checking on the runner on second. Matt Allen going through their bunt defense there, seeing if uh, seeing if he shows bunt, showing bunt here. Pulls back the bunt, but that is strike one here for Shane Street. Throws you know low 80s, 81 to 83 with a good curve ball as well. Primarily a second baseman and a third baseman here for the Mustangs. And that's what you, that's what you want to do there um, if you're Shane Street. Um, you know, kind of force it to get the two strikes here. Uh, you know, some coaches will still call this bunt here, but I, I, it's highly unlikely. Going to probably have him swing away here. <laughs> um, so really, really a big pitch here for Shane Street. See if he can finish the job on the leadoff batter, at least make it a little less worrisome. And Nick Wimberly with a good play over there at third. Good swing there by the leadoff batter. Shane Street, first off speed pitch of the night for him. Really good swing, just, uh, you know, wrong spot. Great play there by Wimberly, though. Patrick Ward coming to bat. Curveball, low and outside for ball one. And uh, the other score update we have, 
O'Galley five, Rockledge one at the top of the fifth. Street low and away for ball two. Good hitters count here for the Jensen Beach two hitter. Looking to do some damage, like we said, runner on second. Single scores to some parts of the field. Looks like there's good speed over there. Getting a good lead. Pitch there, out. Count is three and oh. Good spot there by Street, but just a tad bit outside. Street checks on the runner second, delivers. That's gonna be ball four, that's four straight balls. Brings up the Jensen Beach three hitter. Really good swing on Grant Paparella there in the first inning, hit a double over the center fielder's head. Hopefully he can recreate that, but hate to say it, but the walk probably isn't the worst thing here for the Mustangs. A ground ball is still in double play territory here. Um, you never know what can happen in a situation like this. Uh, interesting to see how this plays out while Coach Widener goes to the mound, talk it over with, with his team, what they want to do here. Uh, Gillen comes into tonight with 23 RBIs. Has the potential to add at least one more with a, with a runner on second here. You know, if you're mid on here, you're just kind of sitting over there, kind of talking. Um, obviously, one run isn't the worst thing in the world, but you, you'd obviously like to get out of this with none. A ground ball here would be the ideal situation. But still, semi-early here in the game. Um, Shane Street just came in. You know, not his fault on the on the air on the first first pitch of the inning here, but uh, you know, Maryland has to fight and, and see you know if they can get out of this without them scoring any. But if you're Jensen Beach, you really want to capitalize on the air and make something happen here. At least put one up on the board, if not two, if not three. Uh, obviously, he's shown power uh, in his first at bat, so you never really know. One out, two on for Gillian. Curveball falls in for strike one. Good good off-speed pitch to start off the at-bat there. What you'd call a get-me-over curve. Still very much a dangerous situation here. That's a and shot. That might fall in the gap again. Looking to score two. Most likely will score two. Here's will throw not. the play at the plate. Throw just a tad bit behind. And Jensen Beach gets on the board for striking first blood. One nothing off of an RBI double. Really, really good swing there. Low and away fastball again. Took it the other way, just like last time. Good job by Merritt Island there, honestly, to to only make that only make that double turn into one run, and a, it was a play at the plate. Um, if there was a, a little bit of a quicker relay, Merritt Island infield in here. Um, this is the pitcher up the bat, struck out in his first at bat. Curious to see if he can just do a job here. You know, all you have to do here is you know a high fly ball or fit a ground ball here through one of these infield gaps. Really dangerous situation here for Jensen Beach. See if they can do some damage here. Comes in tonight with 21 RBIs. Has, has the ability to add on another two. Ball low and away again for Shane Street. Uh, you, you know, you really don't want to see this out of a pitcher. You want to see if he can at least just let him hit it. Uh, you know, it's better than, you know, putting a guy on. But putting a guy on here isn't terrible, like we said earlier, but you definitely want to see an out here if you're the Mustangs. And therefore, strike one, three, one count. One out, rut runners on second and third.
after he gets his signs from Mully. Kicks and delivers. And that is ball four here for Jensen Beach. And the bases are loaded. This is a very dangerous posi position here if, 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 you're, uh, if you're Merritt Island. If you're Jensen Beach, this is one where you can really, really get some momentum. I mean, you, you, you've got some momentum with the one run, but to be able to bust it open to a two, three run lead. That'd be really huge, especially the way that their pitching has been looking tonight. Um, it'd definitely be big to put on more than one here. Um, you know, you come out of this with a one run lead going into the fourth. You're happy, but you're not content, you know, because you never know when these Merritt Island bats will, you know, figure it out. And you never know what could happen. They exploded the other, the other night on Tuesday. So hopefully do some damage here. In there for strike one. Really big spot here for the five hitter. Another lefty here for Jensen Beach. Good matchup. Righty lefty combination. That one, a chopper over to second. And, and that'll be an error. Another run will score. Puts that kind of in the dead area there. Um, you'd like to see Paparella kind of make that play there, but, you know, just an unfortunate, unfortunate spot to have that ball be hit. That will be a 2 nothing lead here for Jensen Beach. Still very much in position to add on to that. She fires first pitch, and that one is high lifted to right center field. Denneberg calls for it. Relays that one in, and that will be a sacrifice RBI. And Jensen Beach puts another run on the board. Now up 3 to nothing. Really, really good piece of hitting there. That's what you want to see in that situation, a high fly ball to right field. Going to, you know, almost impossible to make a play at the plate. And they also advance the runner from second to third, so runner on third here with two outs. And that Kicks, one is hit. Fires. To left field. And, and that will be out number three. Great inning by Jensen Beach. Uh, you know, in baseball, you can't have errors. And Jensen Beach definitely capitalized on them. And, and if you're Merritt Island, you really need to cut those out in a game of this magnitude. But, you know, we'll see We'll see what happens in the game still. Still in reach, definitely. But if, if this pitcher can keep, keep going, um, you know, we might we might be in for one here. All right, we head to the next half inning with your score. Jensen Beach three, Merritt Island with work to do.
and we are back live here on the Brevard Sports Network here in the fourth inning. Top of the fourth. Dean Hanson up the bat, three hitter here for the Mustangs. Fastball low for ball two. You know, Mary Island's getting in a lot of good counts tonight, but not, not been able to capitalize as of late. Takes ball three, low. This is what you want to see, though. Uh, an inning starter where, you know, just like the first inning, get yourself in a really good position here to make something happen. Merritt Island dugout trying to find some life here tonight. Foul tip here for strike two, and now you're kind of back into the pitcher's hand. Uh, he has not been afraid to throw the off-speed 3-2. See what he throws here. Fastball high. And that one's popped up. Out. Good fight here. Still a 3-2 count here for Dean Hanselman. If you're Merritt Island, you really want a walk or a hit here. You need runners. And the foul tip, strike three. Wow. A common occurrence here tonight. I, I, I believe that's number five or six on the night. Seems like he's missed a lot of barrels tonight. Um, you know, uh, Coach Widener expects a lot out of these these captains, and, and uh, especially your middle of the order. You know, started off the game hot, but been quite quiet ever since. Um, we do still have three innings left, but then again, we still only have three innings left, so going to have to create some type of momentum here early. So, Kevin is one and one here, one out. The 1-1 one, one to Paparella. Fastball inside called strike two. That is not what you want to see. Taking fastballs with a guy who has a curveball like this. Maryland hitter is just looking not here tonight. Tried to gas up a fastball there. Good, 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 good little waste pitch. Try to see if we can get him to chase, chase up in the zone. And I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt him if he threw a curveball in the dirt right here. And, and that is strike three. three. Like I was just saying, um, Coach Widener expects a lot out of these seniors. And a lot out of the middle of the lineup here. Um, and just not much going on so far here tonight. That's, uh, I, think I just got confirmation that's number six on the night right there. Next up to bat is uh, Denneberg, and you're, you're, you're hoping Denneberg can 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 re relight the fire like he did Tuesday night with, with, with a good at bat here. You'd, you'd like to see this stuff happen, you know, early in the innings and stuff like that, but, you know, a two-out rally never hurt anybody. The the one, see, it's it's frustrating to watch, uh, honestly. All these fastballs that, that Merritt Allen's taking tonight, it's just not something you want to do. And that's what you get, um, you know. You, with a pitcher of this, of this, of this kind, you're not going to see a lot of fastballs. And Maryland just has to capitalize on them. Can hear kicks and delivers. That's low. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The deuces are running wilder than Hulkamania for all my wrestling nerds out there. And the curveball in the dirt. And another great inning here by the Jensen Beach starter. Three strikeouts, strikes out the side here. Looking really, really, really good here. That is sh sh strikeout number seven on the night for Chris, Chris Kinnear. 
We head to the bottom of four with your score. Jensen Beach three, Merritt Island with work to do. All uh, right, here we are, back live here at Clint Hurdle Field. And Street fires that one in for strike one. Hopefully Shane Street can have a quick inning here, get, get Merritt Island back in the dugout. But if you're Jensen Beach, you want to carry that momentum, both from your defense and your offense in the last inning, and be able to carry that over and really have another good inning here. Matt Kuntz at the, bat, at the plate. And you know, Jensen Beach kind of came in with a, with a swagger uh, when they when when they drove in on the bus. When they can't, when I was here when uh, Jensen Beach pulled in, they were yelling from the bus. They 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 they, they were doing the the we the we ready chant, and yeah. uh, at the moment, they're backing it up. Yeah, I mean it, it's personally. Uh, just being a football background, I think I'd, I'd quite laugh at that. But if, if that's what it takes to win for them, that's exactly what it, what it needs to take, you know. Um, any sort of added motivational swagger that they may or may not have, um, you know, obviously they're, they're taking that into full effect tonight. The nine hitter started their rally last inning. With the ground ball to third that Wimberley threw away. Street looking good here. Seems to me like he found another gear in his fastball. That, that, that breaking pitch in for ball one. Kicks. One a bit high for ball, ball two. One out. Street kicks and delivers. Great curveball there. Drops in for strike two. That's what you want to see out of a senior pitcher trying to ignite a fire here for the Mustangs. It seemed to me, I mean, hit by pitch is hit by pitch, but uh, uh, it seemed to me like he almost leaned in. I'm not here to make the call. I'm not an umpire, but um, the, 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 if, the, if that the, was me, I'd check. The, 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 there wasn't much of a, of a subtle move to try to evade the pitch. Uh, yeah, I mean, which you're taught not to do, but I've also never really seen someone want to be hit in the head by a pitch. I mean, the, 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 a the, base runner's a base runner. Yeah. Know? Up to bat is Cade Cruz for Jensen Beach. Street errant here on ball number two. That, that, one, that one looked like it may, may or may not have been out of frustration there. It, it definitely could have been. Um, you know, with an at-bat like that, uh, 
I know personally I, I'd feel a little slighted there. Good pitch there. Low and away for strike one. Lead off batter tonight. Uh, hard line drive in his last at bat that got caught, but has looked really comfortable up there. Hopefully he can do some damage here. Hicks, it's a hit and run situation, and that one's gonna get into center field. And the ball will get in, it'll be a single and Runner will advance on the throw in. Runners at on the corners with one out. Coming up next to bat is number 11, Patrick Ward. Almost a perfectly executed hit and run there. Um, if, if Dean was in his original position, um, that could have been really big there for the Mustangs. Could have been a double play there, but I mean, that's what you call hit and runs for. Perfectly executed by the hitter. And worked really, really well there for Jensen Beach. Runners on the corners here with one out. The two hitter. Kicks and delivers. That's going to be a chopper over to third. Over to first. Really good play there by Wimberly. Wow. Um, like I said Tuesday, Nick Wimberly, uh, uh, I will almost guarantee you that he will be a big time Division I pitcher one day. And you saw every last bit of that there on that throw. Um, you know, had to move behind him. Move behind him, rock, fire, and throw a good batter out. Now up to bat four, Jensen Beach. Well, uh, he'll be put on to load the bases. And if I'm Coach Widener, that's a really smart move. Um, kid is two for two tonight with two huge RBI, uh, two doubles and an RBI on his last double. Um, also fills the bases, so now you have any base here for an out. Um, I honestly do not complain and, and, you know, clean up hitter tonight. Not the most successful night, but hopefully he can come up huge here. And he skies a fastball here. And Shane Street gets out of it. That That is huge there for the Mustangs. You know, stop the bleeding in a sense. I think Wimberly kind of started that momentum there. Uh, really good play over there at third. But, uh, you know, score still 3-0 here heading into the fifth inning. See if uh, Jensen can hold the lead and see if Meron can find some sort of offensive production here. We'd like to, the FHSA recognizes its corporate sponsors that help make the – FHSAA 2022 Baseball Championships Possible. Main Event Lighting, the official photography company of the FHSAA. Max Preps, the official, the official stats and scores of the FHSAA. The NFHS Network, the official online streaming partner of the FHSAA. Spectrum Sports, the official television partner of the FHSAA. Ball 4 the official provider of championship rings for the FHSAA. When we come back, the bottom half of the fifth inning, or check, check that, the top half of the fifth inning, live from Clint Hurdle Field in the Class 4A D12 championship game. All right, we return back to the top of the fifth inning. Up to bat for the Mustangs, number two, Shane Street. Chris, 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 Chris Kinnear coming in with seven strikeouts on the night. And Street gives this one a ride, first pitch. And that will drop for a single. That's what you want to see out of Shane Street, though. Punt the fastball early. This is exactly what all the Maryland Island need, hitters need to do tonight. Helping himself out on the mound. He's done what he needed to do in both facets of the game. Let's see. 
Let's see if we can make something out of this. Nick Wimberly uh, could try to capitalize, looking to capitalize off that momentum, that throw from third. Good job being patient. That ball low for ball one here in the top of the fifth. And Nick gives that one a ride to right field. And it should land foul. And that one will harmlessly drop into foul territory. Not Count. a terrible swing there by Nick. Um, you know, that, that, that right, the right side of the field is gaping currently. Um, obviously when you have a, a, the first baseman having to hold the first baseman on, and then you have your right fielder, I guess in regular position, but you know, a ball down the line could really, really help the Mustangs right now. Good curveball there, falls over for strike two. If you're, if you're, if you're Nick, if you're Wimberly here, you, re you really got to battle protect that plate. Uh, my guess here, high fastball or a curveball in the dirt. And there's the high fastball, it literally the quite opposite of, of what you want. But Mustangs get out of that one, uh, luckily. Uh, Nick Wimberly only with the fielder's choice there. Still puts a runner on uh, with one out here. Um, that could have been really bad if I was the first baseman. Um, I definitely would have found the bag, uh, tapped on first, and then thrown to second. But you know, not a terrible, not a terrible thing for the Mustangs. But if you're Jensen Beach, still in a good spot. Pitcher still looking uh, dominant here in the fifth. The Florida Atlantic commit Kita Atatui hitting tonight. Up to bat. Fastball up and away, ball one. If you can flip the lineup here in this inning, I think that could be huge here for the Mustangs, but you never know. Fastball low, count two and oh now. Near fires in there for strike one. That's not the, the worst take in the world, but still, Caleb, with a guy like this, you have to know in a 2 0 count the fastball is coming, and you have to know that you have to swing at that pitch. Absolutely. Because there's the curveball. This is, this is, I feel like at this point in the game for this pitcher, any count with one or two strikes is, is curveball territory for him. Fires, curveball there, barely misses. Huh. Three, two count here. I mean, e ever so slightly missed. Full count here for Kide. Hopefully he can just, something productive here for the Mustangs. Curveball there, not what you want. Hopefully Kide can beat that out and he does not. Big double play there for Merritt Island. Uh, big old play there for Jensen Beach. My apologies. Three, three to nothing. Jensen Beach has come to Clint Hurdle Field and silenced the Merritt Island crowd. We'll see. Can the, can the Mustangs fight back? We'll see right here on the Brevard Sports Network.
We're back here at the bottom of the fifth. And that pitch is sent on a ride to center field at the bottom of the wall. And throw in the second, not in time. Great double there for Jensen Beach. It's almost, I would almost say that uh, Matt Allen almost needs to take a, uh, a tip or two from Jensen Beach. If you've noticed tonight, every ball hit tonight here by Jensen Beach for a hit has been on a fastball. Um, we saw it from Merritt Allen on Tuesday, but tonight Jensen Beach just has the hot hand. I, I couldn't see how far away Diaz was from, from that ball in center, but <coughs> you'd almost like to see it. maybe a, a little bit more effort there from Ryland. Really good speed. It seemed like he had a really good track on the ball, but let it fall there for the double. And that one, that pitch fouled off, heading to the parking lot for strike one. Kyle Derenbecker. Pitch. Outside for ball one. That's a great pitch by, there by Shane Street, but uh, you know Tyler Moe, you'd like to see him frame that pitch and steal a strike, uh, as baseball people would call it there. Fires. Curveball again, falls off the plate. 2-1 count here on the batter. Runner on second with no outs here in the bottom of the fifth. And that one is skied to right center. A little miscommunication there by two Mustangs. The runner will advance on the drop. And it's first and third with nobody out. That's just something, you know, we talked about the magnitude of the game. And like I said Tuesday, baseball is just like football. Uh, you, you lose, you lose the turnover battle. You, you, you most of the time lose the game. You lose definitely the error battle. And uh, usually the team with less has the cleaner game and usually comes out on top. That's kind of something you can't have out there between outfielders, but see if Shree can get out of this here. That ball heading out to the parking lot. So that's a full parking lot tonight, not only for a playoff game, there's a, uh, Miradon's putting on their, their musical, so. Uh, swing and a miss for strike one. Great breaking ball there by Street. Uh, count is 0-2 now. Hope the street can finish this off, get the next batter up, and, you know, double play is, is in effect then. Curveball in the dirt there. Good block by Mully. Good take there by the batter. Makes the count 1-2 and two here. 1-2, and two, runners on the corners, no outs. Street kicks, fires. Count it remains one and two. That one low. Molly trying to pick off the runner at third. my view of things, like I said earlier, I'm not an umpire, but that looked uh, almost like a strike him out, throw him out kind of situation there, but the umpire caught it low for ball two. Runners on second and third here. All right. Great at bat here by the batter. Uh, number four. one, Dylan, Dylan uh, Fadovich. 
big pitch here for, for both teams. And that one hit to first. Kide, good job holding the runner at third, then going and getting the toe tap, getting the at first out of the inning. Runners remain on for, uh, second and third. Coming up to bat now is number eight, Matt Kunz. Catcher here for Jensen Beach. They're going to pinch run here. Put some speed on the bases. Uh, um, coming in for pi the pinch runner is number 18, Lewis Villas Villasena. Uh, interesting move there. Um, you know, third, maybe for the tag opportunity to get better speed on base. But um, the runner on third should score here in most cases if the ball is hit in play. What the? That one bounce, bounces off, and uh, Molly does a good job not letting that one get too far away to the backstop, at least. Seems to be some miscommunication there. I, see, I think Molly thought that was going to be a breaking ball. Um, Ball ended up not hitting the dirt there, and I think Molly was a little bit confused. Uh, it doesn't hurt you. Too bad if you're Marin Island. Obviously, no harm there, but still very dangerous situation here for Jensen Beach to drive in a couple runs, add some insurance on. We're here, bottom of the fifth inning. Count is one and one with one out. Runners on second and third for Couts. <coughs> uh, it missed. I, I don't know where, but it missed. That's all I can tell you. Kicks, fires, swing and a miss for strike two. Really big pitch there by Shane Street. Could go anywhere with this next pitch. Obviously, you want to go right at him, but you know you'd like to see Shane Street finish here and, and get you know Maryland in a really, really good spot to kind of stop the bleeding so far this inning. Street kicks, fires, swing and a miss for strike three. And it was a drop strike three. Get, uh, Mully applies a tag. For out number two. Big out there for Shane Street. Like we said earlier, doing all that he really can here tonight. Um, you know, single in the last inning and really bearing down here these past three innings uh, for the Mustangs. Had that one inning, a kind of error filled, but hopefully here, get out of this inning clean. Now, now up to bat for Jensen Beach, number two, Lonnie Brown. Fires in there for strike two. All you have to see here for Shane Street is a sense of, you know, determination and a drive here to finish. And if you're the batter, obviously you just need to do a job here. You hit a base hit, anything to supply some type of insurance here for Jensen Beach. That one bounced off the helmet. Runners heading to third, and he will score. That's Jensen Beach. Four, is now up four, nothing. Probably one of the last things you want there if you're a Mustang. Up, up 0-2 in a count with two outs here. Street looking really comfortable. And just an unfortunate bounce there on the dirt ball. Swing and a miss. And Shane Street get, gets out of the inning, but not before, uh, not before one run will score. We head to the top of the sixth with your score. 
Jensen Beach Falcons four, Merritt Island Mustangs still with work to do. All right, we're back here. Top of the sixth inning, uh, Chris, Chris Kinnear with seven strikeouts on the night. Torn Dunnigan up to bat, the nine hole hitter here for the Mustangs. And this one is popped up. And no catch. That, 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 that was a great attempt there by the catcher. Not a bad approach here for Torn. Um, you know, you, you obviously want to attack the fastball here. It's Hopefully that's an emphasis here for the Mustangs, but you know, luckily it dropped in. Gets another life here. Hopefully he can do something with it. Fires. Ball one. One and one. Let's that one by. It's count as one and two. That one outside for ball two. Two two count. Kinnear deals the two two. And that's going to be a chopper back to the pitcher. Kinnear. Over to first base, four out number one. And the bats, which were hot for Merritt Island Tuesday night, have seemed to have uh, cooled down. That would be an understatement, Caleb. Great job by the pitcher, though. We can't, obviously, we can't slight him in any bits. He's done exactly what he's needed to tonight. Really good performance here. Um, eight Ks or more, uh, to my to my knowledge. Maryland really hasn't put any balls in play as of late. Uh, time is not of the essence here for the Mustangs, but you know you never know what can happen in two innings of baseball. See if we can come in here and find some life. That one Fast bounces. For ball two. Kinnear. And uh, um, he, it could still be a play. And great job by Diaz outrunning the throw. That, 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 that ball took a weird hop out of the glove. And, and the shortstop had a hard time handling that. But that could be just, just the door Merritt Island needs to get back into this ball game. Like we were talking about errors. Errors are never good in baseball. It's, it's almost like I believe in the baseball gods. I truly do. And stuff like that really 
really never, statistically, is never in favor of the defense after an error. Still not a terrible position here. Ground ball still gets you out of the inning if you're Jensen Beach. But if you're man on, you're, you're really hoping to, to execute on a, on a, with a brother on here. Runner on first. Mully at the plate. Take the 1-0. Swing and a miss for strike one. Count is one and one, one, one out. Runner on first. That one just fouled off the bat for strike two. Seems like Maryland's just a, a, a set like a millisecond too early on these breaking pitches here. If you just sat back, let the ball travel a little bit, I think Maryland could, you know, eventually run into one here. Count one and two here. K Throw K over. <laughs> Kinnear's trying to uh, trying to get Diaz there. Can hear the one two pitch. And Mully leaves that one. Ball two. Count is two and two with one out. Ryland Diaz over at first base. That one low. And Diaz is going to take off for second. And he'll be thrown out at second. For out number two. An error you you just can't have if you're Merritt Island. Kind of suffocates the inning there. I mean, they're taught to go on dirt ball reads, but you have to know your catcher's arm. The catcher almost made it look too easy. Um, Near. Good fight here by Mully still. Just a great play there by the catcher, though. Um, able to pick it up and almost throw a seed. Exactly where it needed to be there for out number two. Full count now, two outs. Check swing and Mully, ne Mully now heads to first, coming up to bat. Hanselman. And uh, the Jensen Beach coach is going to come out and go uh, have a talk with his pitcher. And I believe that will be the night for the starter here. Great, great performance by him. F fantastic performance. That that young man has nothing to hang his head on. He he, he leaves with a four nothing lead. Had uh, eight eight strikeouts on the night. You can't can't ask for much more out of a pitcher. You know, s went through five and two thirds scoreless. Really, really, really good performance. Coming in, coming in now for the Falcons is a number eleven, Patrick Ward. We will get. I'll get you the stats on Ward here in just a second. Ward is making his. Uh, He's got two saves on the year. This is his 10th appearance. Does not have an ERA according to the stats. Looks to be throwing impressive. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors here, the Merritt Island Baseball Boosters, for paying to make sure Brevard Sports Network got the rights to broadcast this game, broadcast this tournament. Class 4A District 12 Championship. 
two outs. And Dean Hanselman going to be the first batter to face Patrick Ward. Ward here looking like he's throwing at, at least upper 80s here. I'd say 85 to 87 just to be my safe guess. About the same as a starter here. Interested to see if he has an off speed, but you know, run around here for the Mustangs. Leaves that one alone for ball one. Seems to be a guy who definitely trusts his fastball much more than his off speed, just from what I saw in warm up. So maybe it's just what the Mustangs needed here. Nice, uh, nice, nice quick move over there to first. Checking on Mully. And off. time called by Hanselman. Granted by Roy Holbeck. Seem to be an off-speed pitch there. Maybe a slider, maybe a curveball. We don't really know for sure, but definitely some movement there. Misses low for ball two. Kicks, fires. In there for strike one. Two one, two outs. Tyler Mully over on first. Hanselman with a chopper to the shortstop. Over to first to end the inning. We head to the bottom of six with your score. Jensen Beach four, Merritt Island still got work to do. All right, folks. We have a return. We have a returner back on the mound. Grant Paparello being put back on the mound here for this bottom of the sixth. So. Mustangs here uh, gonna need a gonna need a quick inning and then uh, and then yeah there's just, just, no other way to put it there you're gonna need the the bats to explode here in the top of the seventh make plans to attend the 2022. FHSAA Baseball Championships, State Championships, over in Fort Myers. Head on over to the FHSAA website. That's www.fhsaa.com. Beautiful website for all ticket information. Get your tickets through the website, which will take you to GoFan, the official online ticket provider of the FHSAA. Paparella, first pitch is a ball. Top of the lineup here for Jensen Beach. High fastball popped up, definitely still in play. He overran it. And that's one, um, I'm, coaches out there are probably saying probably leave that one to the uh, catcher first baseman. Um, 
Yeah, I, I would usually agree, but Paparella being a shortstop uh, per nature, you know, it was the right call, but he just uh, just happened to overrun it by, by a little bit. If I was Grant, um, you know, the leadoff batter's put a couple good swings here tonight, but I'd make this kid hit at this point in the game. He hasn't shown any signs of damage. Seems to me like he uh, has a good eye. It's a good thing you want to lead off, but nothing too impressive here tonight um, off his bat, so I'd attack him. Cruz at the plate. We'll look at ball three, full count. And he will be hit by uh, Devin. What it seemed to me, like I said, uh, just like I said earlier, um, it seemed to me like the, the nine hitter seemed to lean into that breaking ball. Seems to me like uh, Jensen Beach coach has something to say. Would not be entirely surprised. Uh, I don't want to make this guess, but no, 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 no. I want to say the coach might might influence mm -hmm. his kids to do that. Some coaches do. I know that. But um, Jensen Beats coach is all angry and, and whatnot. But uh, definitely was a, a forward lean into that pitch. Sky yeah. high, <laughs> first pitch. Rylan under it and makes the catch for out number two. So quick two outs for Merritt Island. Patrick Gillen. Two for two on the night, two doubles and a walk in his last at bat. Late here, might drop. And that's gonna and drop there in left field. Only for a single. You know, sometimes, um, you know, had a really, has, a, has had a really, really good night and um, continues to have a really, really good night here. Three for three on the night. Two doubles and a single for him tonight. Started it off with the RBI double. The starter on the mound for Jensen Beach right now. Great night on the mound, like we said. Um, hasn't really needed to help himself out much because he went five and two thirds scoreless. Count is even at one and one. Big swing, big swinger here in the cleanup. Count is two and one, two outs, runner on first. Wouldn't be surprised if you see a pickoff here. Keep him a little honest. Looks like he's. I stand corrected. 3 1 here. Davin was just uh, predict predicting that throw over uh, one pitch early. One pitch early. Here we go, the 3-1 pitch here. Fouled off, big swing there on the fastball. Count is three and two now. Really big pitch here for the Mustangs. Mike Coach the having runner, the runner is running on the pitch, so Coach Widener sent Kide back to his original position. It would be ball four, but he jumps on the high curve ball. So it's now full count. Full count here again. Runner will be moving on the pitch. See if Grant can can hold it down here, finish the job, and see if Marin Allen can give its last last effort here. That one outside for ball four, and now with runners on first and second, coming up to bat, number 24, Ty. 
Villardo. Villardo came into tonight with 23 RBIs. One high for ball one. Grant here, you just you just want to find any way possible, every any way possible, to get your team back in here. One last shot here at making a comeback. And that one skied to right. Towering fly ball. Brady's under it and makes the catch for out number three. Though this is this is do or die here for the Mustangs. Yep. Final three outs. Can Merritt Island make the adjustments and get on a run? Or will Cl Jensen Beach secure a Class 4A District 12 title? We will see right here on the Brevard Sports Network. All right, leading off the inning for the Mustangs here on their final three outs, Grant Paparella. Grant Paparella, the starter and uh, essentially the closer tonight. He entered the game as a pitcher, moved to shortstop, came back in as a pitcher. Hopefully he can help himself here. Uh, home run potential for Paparella, but all you need is a base runner here. And that's going to be a chopper. Gets past the third baseman. And that, that's all you need here if you're the Mustangs. One runner on. You know, capitalizing off the other team's mistakes here. Next up to bat for the Mustangs, Brady Denneberg coming to the plate. Brady, um, been a little quiet tonight but no time like, like the present, a lot would say. New pitcher out here. Good off speed there for strike number one. He, he thought about it, just decided to stay better of it. Ward kicks and delivers. That one fouled off. Count is now 0-2. Just have to do a job here. Try and poke something in, a, in, a, in you know an area of grass. Put something the other way. Um, you never know what's really going to come here. You're down 0-2. Hopefully Brady can just fight this off and get a runner on. If you're the pitcher, you want to finish this at bat right now. Good fight there by Brady. A little late, but that's what you want to see uh, in a two-strike approach. You know, fight off what you can. Do what you can with two strikes, and all you want to do here is just just do a job for your team. Get on any way you can. The 0-2 from Ward. That one bounces, and Paparella getting back to first. Almost like he, he thought about going a second. He did. I mean, he probably realized that that, that ball was still in the catcher's vicinity to pick up, and throw him out at second, so <clears throat> if you don't get a good jump against this kid, I wouldn't go at all, especially at this time of the game. You know, Grant's run matters, but in the end, it, it doesn't. And over to third. Second for one. 
And Denneberg safe at first base. I mean, that's that's what you want to see um, from a senior captain of yours. Great play there by the third baseman. But, you know, great effort there by Brady. You, you can't have a double play turn right there. That's all momentum. All momentum right to Jensen Beach. But, you know, you, you, you love to see that, that, that fight and that will to not, not give up. If you're Shane Street here, same idea. You just need runners, you know. Um, one out, still a lot of, lot of, you know, anything could happen here, but you're gonna need something, something very big to happen in these next couple of batters. So Maron can have any short of shot here. Kicks, delivers. That one fouled off the plate. Count is one and one, one out. Denneberg over at first. And there's a chopper to the pitcher. Over to first, four out number two. Denneberg advances to second base. So we are down to the last out here in the district final. Um, you know, one batter left here for Jensen Beach and for Merritt Island, you hope the, the opposite. Um, you never know what can happen here, but Jensen Beach just has to finish this off. Wembley has to find a base hit here. Fires for strike one. Kicks and delivers. Swing and a miss for strike two. Wimberly here, you, you got to get the foot down. You know, you're, you're down to your final strike. You know, tensions are high. You got Jensen Beach players dancing on the field. Seeming to be the end of it all. Or it looks. Kicks and delivers. That one's popped up. And out it looks like it's going to be out of play. Out of play here. I respect the effort from the first baseman. Um, you know, get, get his cardio in or whatnot. Great <laughs> effort over there. Here we are. Wimberly still alive here. 0 oh, 2 the count, two outs here. Clint Hurdle Field, Jensen Beach. One more strike to secure a victory here for Merritt Island. Seeming like a near miracle. Ward fires, swing and a miss. Sets his feet, throws over, and Jensen Beach have captured the Class 4A District 12 championship. You know, look, take nothing away. Jensen Beach came. They did what they had to do. Great start tonight by Chris Guineer. Look, if Merritt Island looks at one of the fans, look at this. You're still going to go to the state tournament. The, 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 the record, the RPI supports it. It's just going to be on the road. It'll be on the road, and I know if I'm Merritt Island right now, I am licking my chops. And I, if I'm Kita Atatui right now, I am an athlete myself. I've, I've seen celebrations like this before, well deserved. But if I'm Kita Atatui, you are praying every night that you almost see this team again, hopefully in a region final. Um, you always want that sense of uh, a get back here. But if you're Jensen Beach, great victory tonight. Well played. They didn't make the mistakes. They, they hit the ball when they needed to in the big spots. And just seemed like one of those games where, you know, it wasn't going to be denied from Jensen Beach. From the start, from coming off the bus to right now, uh, you know, definitely well-deserved. 
great team, great energy, and uh, you know I'm sure they'll go far. Uh, you know, in the region, hopefully make a state run. But uh, yeah, really impressive performance here by Jensen Beach. R really impressive, and uh, folks, uh, that's going to wrap it up for us tonight. Your final score: Jensen Beach four, Merritt Island Mustang zero four. Davin Widener. I'm Caleb Brown. Thank you to uh, Athletic Director Jeff McLean and Head Coach Dan Widener. All of us at BSN, have a great night. And as always, make it a sports night. Again, congratulations to Jensen Beach on being Class 4A District 12 champions.